Okay, so I'm outside today doing some spring maintenance on a few of my lawnmowers. Here's a couple of them that I have in the garage right now. One of them is outside. I just finished draining the oil out of it. So I'm doing an oil change. Uh, this one I'm not going to be doing much with today. It is a Troy Built TB360 three in one rear bag side discharge mulch. It's got this uh, single lever to change the height, which is nice. A deck wash port and um, has a Briggs and Stratton 190 cc overhead valve professional series engine. It's got a ton of power. Um, if I ever have to do any really overgrown yards, I like to use this one because it's got so much power. Uh, it is rear wheel drive, has big rear wheels, and it's got this instep self propulsion system, which is kind of similar to Toro's personal pace system. And I have had to replace this handle once. The original one cracked um, on this side over here. As you can see, yeah, it cracked right there where it has stress on it. But this one, the replacement has been much better. So even feels a lot higher quality. And then over here, um, I am going to at least uh, start this thing up today just to see if it works. Haven't started it since, uh, I think, last November or something like that. Um, and then over here, this is a John Deere 14SZ with a cast aluminum deck. Very sturdy. This is from the mid to late 90s. Um, it's got a Briggs & Stratton Quantum engine on it, which is a flathead 190cc engine. This thing has a ton of hours on it, but it still works. Uh, I have to clean the carburetor out on it today and change the oil. Um, this one unfortunately does burn a little bit of oil, but like I said, it's got a ton of hours on it. Um, it is rear wheel drive. I have had to replace the rear wheels because all the rubber was worn off the original ones. Um, and it's got a new handle on it uh, because the original one snapped. This is actually off of a Husqvarna lawnmower that was a piece of junk and I got rid of it a couple years ago. Um, I just parted it out. Uh, sorry, the camera's not focusing. There, there we go. Um, as you can see, the little thing that is supposed to keep the bar like this in its resting position, um, it's just not working out on this handle. On that side, the cable rubs against it, and on this side, I don't know. I don't remember exactly why it wasn't working, but uh, apparently I didn't install it the right way for some reason. Um, Two-speed transmission, it's not the five-speed like the 14SB with the Kawasaki engine, it's just a basic two-speed transmission, and um, it's got an engine throttle control, as you can see. So yeah, this one, um, it's a five-horsepower engine, and this is a great mower, I absolutely love the way this mower cuts, um, it's probably the best out of any mower that I've had. Uh, that one over there. It cuts pretty good. Um, it's got a just a regular stamp steel deck. It's not cast aluminum like this one. This is a Toro Super Recycler. This is my main lawnmower that I use. It's got a nice cast aluminum deck. It's got grease fittings for the rear axle or gears right there, as you can see. Yeah, John Deere has that as well. Um, has a Toro branded engine, it's a 159cc, 7.25 foot-pounds of torque, overhead valve, and I believe this engine is made by a company called Lonson, um, and it has a cast iron cylinder liner, which is great. Uh, you can get two different engines on these super recyclers, and uh, the other option is a Honda GCV 160, and um, pretty sure it has an aluminum cylinder liner, or no cylinder liner at all, it's just aluminum. Um, so I would prefer this one over the Honda, and uh, this has been a great lawnmower so far. This will be its third year of commercial use. It's got a side discharge rear bag, and um, I just sharpened the blade on this not too long ago. Personal pace, and it has needed a belt replacement once. Uh, this self-propel system really isn't too easy on belts. Yeah, 
I just dumped the oil out of this one. I didn't really need it, but I like to keep fresh oil in this one because it's my main mower. Um, and of course it is rear wheel drive, I didn't mention that. The washout port right there, which is all full of crap. Air filter. And yeah, it's dirty. And the really nice thing about this is these quick release things. Fold the handle down like that. No screwing around with those stupid um, wing nut things. And this is a flexible handle. It's got springs under it, so it's uh, kind of isolates you from the vibrations. It's very nice. And here is another one of my lawnmowers. This is my John Deere E140, which I got last spring. Uh, so that would be spring of 2019. And it's got a hydrostatic transmission, and it has a 48 inch deck with three blades. There's a deck height adjustment. As you can see 48 inch. Deck washout port right there. Brake. Parking brake lever, throttle control, power meter has got 90.6 hours on it right now and has an electric PTO for the blades. Um, fuel gauge, and there is the forward and backwards pedals for the hydrostatic transmission. This has a 22 horsepower Briggs & Stratton Intec V-Twin. Sounds nice and it's got a lot of power. As you can see it has full pressure lubrication because there's an oil filter right there. Fuel filter and um, there is the vacuum actuated fuel pump right there. Battery, still the original battery, it works great. And of course the gas tank is under the seat. Side discharge or mulch right now as you can see I have a mulch plug on there. And so yeah, I'm about to get a 60 inch Hustler zero turn and that will be delivered in a couple weeks and I'll make a video of that then. It's got a Kawasaki V-twin on it. Here's the oil that I will be using today. This is uh, just O'Reilly Auto Parts brand. Synthetic blend SAE 30. All right, oil has changed. I'm going to set the camera down somewhere and give this thing a start. still have to change the air filter and spark plug, but other than that, it's good to go. Blade is sharpened, oil's changed. Started right up on the first pole. Alright, here's the Troy belt. You just put gas in it just a little bit. Tank was completely dry. started on the first pole and that had not been run since November so and these are both uh, automatic choke engines here's the nasty air filter out of that John Deere I'm gonna be replacing this air filter too covers off just one bolt you can use a flathead on it and uh, yeah this is a 
primer engine, it's not auto choke. Okay, so now I'm going to take these bolts out that hold this uh, box on, and we'll get to the carburetor. Alright, the box is off, it's just three 8mm bolts. Three of these guys, and there is our dirty, nasty looking carburetor. I'm going to clean it up around it a little bit and just take the bowl off. I'm not going to remove the whole carburetor because I just have to clean out the jet screw. And it's very, very simple to do on these engines. These are a lot more responsive to maintenance than Tecumseh's are, that's for sure. Okay, bowl is off. There's a little bit of junk in the bottom of it. It's not too bad, and here's the jet screw, which is clogged up. I'm going to use the wire out of this twist tie um, and then some carbon choke cleaner. Okay, bowl is cleaned out, jet screw is cleaned out, about to put it back together. Sprayed the float off with some carb cleaner, just there was some junk that fell on it, but let's put this thing back together. Alright, it's all back together, put a little bit of gas in it, primed it, about to give it a start and see how it runs. I still have to replace that disgusting air filter and the spark plug, so I'll pick those two things up during the week. But um, after I do this, I'm going to change the oil. So let's see how it runs. great so I'm gonna dump the old oil out of there and put some new stuff in okay oil's changed nice and clean right at the full mark where it should be this engine uses about 18 ounces of oil I'm gonna give it another start and just see how it runs do it for the lawnmower maintenance for today because I need to get some more parts um, and the, like I said the mower shop is closed today so thanks for watching